Last year I reviewed the PyTop modular laptop with its all new design, sliding keyboard and it was powered by the Raspberry Pi 3B+. This year PyTop are back with an all new product and a different form factor to the existing products, the modular laptop and the PyTop Seed. The PyTop 4 is a portable form factor which allows the Raspberry Pi to be put in more projects than ever before. But is it really worth it? Let's find out. Now the release of the PyTop 4 came unexpected to quite a lot of people. When PyTop announced that they were releasing a new product at BEC 2019, there was lots of speculation of a new seed with an updated screen and better features. But instead, PyTop released the PyTop 4. Now the PyTop 4 is very different to the modular laptop and the PyTop seed, which are both desktop and laptop configurations. The PyTop 4, the idea behind it, is that it can be attached to a screen and keyboard very easily by a, a connector on the back and then you can program it, see what you're doing and then instantly put it into a project. It allows ease of use of using the Raspberry Pi in more portable and outdoor projects using it for on the go. Now the Pi Top 4 comes with some very interesting features that you won't necessarily find on a normal Raspberry Pi or on the existing Pi Top products. It comes with a mini OLED screen uh, which can be uh, used to display images or text or some output for some data. You have uh, four programmable buttons with different icons on. Um, you can program these in Python um, to do whatever you like. You've also got a um, a few standard features that you'll find on the normal Raspberry Pi, uh, two USB ports, an Ethernet port, a um, HDMI port, a headphone jack and also a DC power in to charge the battery. It also has a um, connector on the back which allows you to connect the included um, base plate uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. And it also has a tripod adapter in case you wanted to connect it to a tripod mount. Uh, it also has um, some GPIO connectors, of which are actually uh, not the pins that you'll find on the Raspberry Pi, and these are female connectors. Uh, so let's take a look at what you can find inside the box. So the Pi Top 4 comes in this really nice packaging here, where you have the Pi Top 4 on the front, uh, the Pi Top logo and some of the included accessories. Uh, PyTop always do really nice packaging. Uh, you can see that you've got a magnet lift thing here, uh, the PyTop logo on the side, and a what's inside the box label here. So this shows you what's included and what you get. Um, on the back we have some information about the different components and um, the different things that come inside the box. So let's open it up. So it's got a magnet lift here and on the top level we have an instruction manual. So this shows us uh, how to get started, how to insert the SD card and also how to connect it via VNC or to the official keyboard and mouse um, or to one of your own. So if we put that to the side and here we have the Pi Top 4 itself. So it has the OLED screen, the connections for the Raspberry Pi, uh, so you've got Ethernet there, two USB ports and a DC power in and HDMI 
have the tripod connector on the back there and the connector of which you use to connect to the base plate which I'll show you in a minute or the official keyboard and mouse. So if we put that to the side there and then take a look what else we have. So here is the foundation kit. So the foundation kit includes some components um, of which we can use to build projects. Uh, you might be familiar with this in the last video where they included a kit of components. This is a slightly different idea. So the foundation kit comes with a selection of components. So you have some LEDs in red, yellow and green. Uh, ultrasonic sensor, a buzzer, tube tensiometers, sound sensor, light sensor, and two buttons. Uh, these come in some nice injection molded uh, cases. Um, these connect via a little grove connector, which is a, uh, a standard connector. Uh, you might know it as um, JST. And these connect to the foundation base plate which connects to the Pi Top 4 and has some connectors on the side. There. You can see the little white connector that matches the one on the bottom of the Pi Top 4. Also a really cool thing about the components is that they are Lego compatible with this little connector that you get some of these in the box. They just snap in like that. You can connect it to some Lego. The foundation base plate is really easy to use. It's just a case of snapping it on in the right place, like this. Wrong way around. Like that. And then it forms a nice little package. And then you use a little green button on the side to detach it, like that. So, let's put that back on and we'll see what projects we can do with the Pi Top 4. So, let's take a look at uh, the Pi Top 4's software and powering it on and how we connect it to the computer. So, to power on the Pi Top 4, it has a power button on the side. If we just hold it in and wait for the LED to turn on, so you can see this is the power LED, and you'll have a little four animation here. So once that shows the battery level and does its little start up, we will be able to take control of the Pi Top 4. So here we go, the Pi Top logo is now showing on the mini OLED display. And here we see the battery level. So this Pi Top 4 is at 95%, and the battery lasts for quite a long time. I haven't had a chance to time it yet, but it seems to be a very good battery life, especially at BET when I saw the project. Uh, the batteries were lasting for quite um, a long time, uh, up to about a day. So let's take a look at some of the menus that come with the Pi Top 4. So this display can be used to uh, display a number of different things. So if we press this button here, we have settings. So you can see that you can control VNC on or off, or SSH on or off. That's the settings menu that you can get in. And then if we just cancel that, you can see that you've got a number of handy things here. So you've got CPU usage and temperature, I imagine, on these little bar graphs. You have the username and password, so uh, at default these are Pi and PyTop. Then we have Wi-Fi details, so you can see that this is connected to my Wi-Fi and it gives you the IP address. The IP address we'll use later to connect via VNC. And then we go back to the batch level. So let's hop on over to the computer and connect to the Pi Top via VNC. So here we have VNC open and then we have the Pi Top 4 turned on and then the base kit here 
of which we can connect some components to. So let's try connecting to the PyTorch 4 via VNC and then trying one of the projects. So to find our IP address, we scroll through the menus to find our IP address here. Now we just type that into VNC. So mine is 0 0.0.155. Then we just click connect. Then it will prompt us for a username and password. And this can also be found in the menus here, so the default is pi hyphen top. And then just press OK. And then we'll be brought to the desktop here where we have a search portal with some recommended app applications, recommended websites, and also a project suggestion here. So if we just type in LED into the search portal and then press search PyTop further projects. This will now bring us to the PyTop further learning portal of where we can then search for LED and then we have our tutorial here. So if we press tutorial and then we'll get some instructions of what to do. So here we have some different sections. Uh, the first one is components. So in this tutorial, we'll need the base plate, the PyTorch 4, which we've all got connected already, um, an LED, which we'll get here, we'll choose a red LED, put that there, and a connecting cable, which we have here. Let's we'll put that there. Okay, on to the next section. So these diagrams are really nice and hand-drawn by the looks of it and easy to understand. So, now we need to connect our LED to the Pi Top. So, you'll see that it's asking for a digital. So that's in purple. So we'll connect it to D2. So if we connect our LED in here, you only go one way around, like that. And then connect it to D2 on the Pi Top. Just push it in. Okay, and then that is all connected. So if we just put that there, make sure it doesn't go off. Okay, so we'll just hold that. So what we need to do now is look at this example code. So in order to run it, all we need to do is go to Programming and then choose the Python IDE and that will then load up on the side here and then we can turn the LED on or off using the example code. So if we just press the copy icon, then paste it into here, then click save and that will load up a file manager of which we can save it. We'll just save it as project one, then press OK. That'll save it in the folder of our choice. And then press run, and then the LED will turn on. So, what are my first thoughts on the new Pi Top 4? I think it's a great form factor for those who want a simple Raspberry Pi solution which can be really portable and can be used outdoors. I think it's really easy with the foundation plate. Uh, just plug and play and the uh, resource selection is really good. Uh, I hope to in future videos uh, to take a look at some more projects and have a deeper dive into the software. Uh, so let me know in the comments below uh, what you'd like to see uh, me do with the Pi Top 4. Uh, but overall I'm really happy. Uh, I think it's a great product and I can't wait to uh, see what other people do with it. Uh, the Pi Top 4 is now available on Kickstarter. Uh, so if you're interested, do back the Kickstarter and it would be great to see the Pi Top 4 
made a reality. So thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to like and share with anyone who you may think is interested in the PyTop 4 and this video in particular. Thank you for watching.